new Star Wars trailer. Yeah. The director himself said, don't watch this. Yep. Mark Hamill's like, I fundamentally disagree with everything they're having me do as Luke. Yep. But. We're going to watch this. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Like, like Star Wars <laughs> is a cultural event. Yes. You know? So we owe it to ourselves. Yes. To engage in every bit of promotional material possible. Yes. Even if it ruins our ultimate experience. Yes. Because one does not simply watch Star Wars. One lives and experiences <laughs> Star Wars yes. until there is no more Star Wars, which is never. Yes. So let's watch the damn trip. Yes. And we're watching off Facebook because that's the way we do things. <laughs> Not too spoilery yet, no. Generic enough. Is that Snoke talking? Maybe. If he's not small, I'm gonna flip this table. E. It's not yellow. I just want a yellow light there. That's all I want. Oh, and then that spoiler right there. It's Lucas films. You and <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson are ruining lightsabers. Oh, we have got our inciting event. Okay. Makes sense. Even though she's already yeah. dead, she's yeah. been dead for a while. Yeah. What, what the heck is that? Oh, not another. <laughs> like an Ewok, but a bird this time. Good. So fast thing. A thing. Thank goodness. Okay. okay. They used vibro blades. <laughs> oh, what the heck was that thing? <laughs> I was cheering over fast. That's fair. Oh, Stokes, not small. I need someone to show you my place in all this. Huh. Okay. Okay. Boom. So, analyzers, I think, are going to piece the shit out of this. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of the major beats are have been revealed now. Yeah. I just don't know what order they're going yeah. to be in. I don't know well, how they're going to be structured. Yeah. So, so, so what, what are you what, what's your thought? You had my a moment. thought. Yeah, yeah, I had a moment where I was like I fi I think I figured it out. It's because okay. the last time Luke saw this raw power was with Kylo or sure. Ben when he was training. When him. he was training him and he was and he wasn't scared then, okay. but now he is scared so he refuses to continue Rey's training. Mm. And pretty much shuts her down again. Not again, depending on what people believe Ray's parentage mm -hmm. is. Um, but that's her being shut down again. From why was she left on uh, Jakku, and now she's getting shut down again. Probably he probably leaves her on the island somewhere. So she's been left twice on some place. All right, is I, what I'm sort of feeling. I've got a bone to pick with a Jedi at this yeah? point because how many times have they? Like ignored the appeal of the dark side. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Luke almost succumbed to it. Anakin mm -hmm. definitely did. Now it looks like Ray's going to. Um, like yeah, they ju they just keep like we're scared of this. We're not going to address yeah. it. Yeah, and then you know people turn evil. Yeah, and and especially with Luke because technically in Star Wars lore, because I don't know how much of Star Wars lore you know. Well, as far as the movies go, okay. and some okay. of the TV shows. Okay. Um, that, that's about Luke it. Luke actually is one of the only Jedi to go to the dark side and come back. Because at, at mm -hmm. the end of the movie, he actually was the like he went full fledged into the dark side, um, mm -hmm. but he was able to pull himself back as well as pull Anakin yeah. back. In so much as he did, you know, a ton of things that Jedi are never supposed yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah, and which is why 
lo and behold, whatever you call chosen one, I have a whole different theory on that anyways. Mm. Um, and so there's that <laughs> idea. <laughs> okay. So I feel like that's going to be the main conflict is that they're going to start training. We're going to be like, oh, this is great. We're going to have two Jedi. They're going to go fight people. Mm-hmm. But then poor Rey, who's hasn't had any training really, because Luke's going to be like, mm-hmm. dang, she's strong. I need to stop because I'm scared. Mm-hmm. So, so... Why, why do you think the, the director was so freaked out about this? You know, is he, did, did, was it just over the fact that, you know, he would have liked for audiences to, you know, see Luke potentially abandon Rey? Is that, that, you know, it would have been a thrill to see, you know, Luke approach, uh, or not Luke, Rey approach Kylo? Yeah. Um, I feel like he might didn't, he probably didn't want us to watch this because it did give mm-hmm. away a lot. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of, like, major plot twists Mm -hmm. that now we kind of already know. Sure. Like, we know she's going to become super strong. We know Luke's going to be scared. We know Snoke's going to do something strange. We know that uh, Kylo is going to at one point be like, you can trust me, join my side. And probably kill, you know... Yeah, and probably kill Leia and the... What are they calling themselves now? The Resistance? The Resistance, I believe. It's like a lamer name than the Rebellion. It is. It is. By the way. But, But even, like... I, I kind of would foresee Kylo taking out the rest of his yeah. family. That just kind of makes sense. Um, this was... It, it's worth saying, too, that this was very different for a Star Wars trailer. Yeah. At least in terms of, like, what we saw from Force Awakens. Like, you know, when Force Awakens promotional material first started coming out, it was like, you know, here's a few frames, cut the black. Yeah. Frames, Which was, like, the exact the same frame. as everything. <laughs> you know? so, um, but then as more and more trailers came out, I felt like they were structured and edited much more mm-hmm. competently, like, showing us enough, like, s- like sizzle reel type stuff to get excited yeah. about, yeah. without showing us what actually happens in the movie, other than the fact that, like, Harrison Ford will be there in some capacity, yeah. BB-8 will be cool, <laughs> you know, but this, like, I, I got kind of a <laughs> Force Awakens trailer vibe from it, but now I'm thinking about it, it did have a lot of content, yeah, which I appreciated the, the, the Force Awakens trailer for trailers for not, for having. not having the content. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and it showed a lot, but at the same time, I guess it didn't show a lot, because as you said, like, you don't know necessarily where these pieces fall into play. Mm-hmm. Like, we have, like, all these puzzle pieces, and we're like, okay, we see them all, but, like, sure. now where do we begin? Mm-hmm. So, like, maybe at this point, Kylo is, like, good. And he's like, <laughs> I'm gonna teach you how to actually be good. <laughs> or, like, maybe he's, like, like middle ground. So he's, like, tired of killing his family <laughs> because of freaking little Snow. Or maybe it's like Rogue One, where they don't know what order they fall in yet, <laughs> and they're still piecing it together themselves. That's so, fair. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm still, of course, going to see it because... Yeah, I'm no course, less yeah. stoked yeah. for Christmas. Yeah, you no know. less stoked for Christmas. I'm that Snoke. I'm that, I'm that Snoke. I'm actually... Okay, th- things I did enjoy, though. Yeah. I did enjoy the fact that they had vibroblades. Um, that that's that crazy thing that Finn's fighting we Phasma with. At the same time, we're like, "Whoa, you like yeah. vibro vibro blade?" Because that, that's I the was only like, Phasma. Thing, that's like the only thing that's able to actually fight a lightsaber. And I don't think Phasma had a lightsaber there, but that's just interesting that they're bringing in other technology that's been in the Star Wars lore. So I really do appreciate that because it's always like, "Oh, you can't fight a lightsaber; you just kind of get your arm chopped off." Right. So it's like, no, you can actually fight it with other weaponry, mm-hmm. which is really cool. I really enjoy the fact that they did that. Right. Um. Anything else you want to mention? I don't like the little bird thing. They're, they're, I think they're trying too hard to make another Chewbacca. And I don't like it when they try too hard to make another thing. I personally hate BB-8. And when I'm watching it, really? underneath, underneath my breath, I'm going to be always saying, if BB-8 ever struggles, I'm going to be like, suck it up, BB-8. <laughs> Just underneath my breath, constantly. He was, he was a wannabe R2-D2. I'm going to slide out of the <laughs> I don't know if I want to be associated with He was this. a wannabe R2-D2. <laughs> I'm going to Taylor Swift myself here. I'd very much like to be excluded from this narrative. Uh, I just think he's a wannabe of R2-D2. Yeah, but... I think that, I think he's trying way too hard to be R2-D2. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jace Feel exclusive, everybody. Yep. Thanks for thanks for tuning in. Yep. Um, ready to watch it ten more times? Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs>